Tina and welcome to another video. So it's February and I figured that I'll show you my bullet journal setup for this month and let's get started. Hey guys, so this is my bullet journal setup for the month of February and as you can see I just have a magnetic bookmark on the side so that it'll be easier for me to find the current page that I'm on and on this side I just have my February preview. I did another vertical preview mainly because I have more space to write on and on this side I have my sleep tracker. Obviously I want to track the hours of sleep that I get every night. I know I don't get a lot but it's nice to keep track of the hours that I have. Usually I only sleep for about 5 to 6 hours. It depends on the amount of work that I have. And yeah, I think that this will look super cool as at the end of the month, mainly because I have parts that will be highlighted. And yeah. So on the next page, I have my schedule for the semester since we just started school. And yeah, it'll be nice to be able to memorize my schedule, obviously, so I won't get lost. And I'll be able to keep track of my classes. So this is something that I've been doing since I got my first bullet journal. It's that I keep track of my homework. So here I have a homework tracker. I just write all the homework that I have. And so far as I'm filming this, I've gone to school for two days. I just had my first two days of school and these are all the homework that I have. And on the next page, this is also something that I, I've been doing since my first bullet journal, it's that I keep track of the cases and readings that we have. I write them in the sticky tabs mainly because after reading them, I can move them to the other side like so. For example, I just finished reading the casebook of Sherlock Holmes and then I'll move it here on the other side and that means that I finished it. And here I just have my usual gratitude log and this month I want to try this little thing called month in numbers. I know it's not a good sketch but it was something random that I did and yeah I want to keep track of the savings because I'm saving up for a new camera lens and I want to keep track of the good days that I have had in the past month. This is relatively related to the gratitude log and yeah I want to be more optimistic as what I've written in my goals page and yeah it's just says hashtag discipline and hashtag optimism and now we're moving on to the weekly spreads I have already planned all the weeks of February and have written some tasks and yeah, I still use the same symbols and I kind of regret that the spaces that I have are quite small. But yeah, we'll just have to make it bigger next month and that's it for my February bullet journal setup. So that is it for my bullet journal setup for the month of February and I hope that you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below because it'll keep you updated whenever I upload a new video and such. And yeah, I hope that February will be a very good month for you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!